Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And in this one, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about Ark's newest mod, the Love Evolved Season for Ark Survival Ascended. Now, we're going to go ahead and get started. And if you don't mind, smack that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel. So you can see that I've got some of it here. I've been working out all the different kinks and how to actually make it all work. And it's pretty simple. So for the most part, you need to know a few basic things. The items that you're going to get access to is what you see right here in my inventory. You've got, oops, put that crafting there. You've got box of chocolates as a major event item. You've got love bug hearts, which is a major event item. And then primitive love evolved candy. All three of those things are your items that you're really trying to focus on. Now, there is a physical item that we'll talk about in just a second, but those are the three things that you're trying to get the most of. Now, in order to get those things, conveniently, this guy has decided to attack us here. Um, but this guy right here, just so you can see it, is a love bug. Now, love bugs were one of the creatures that were introduced inside of this event. And the love bug itself is basically a Ryanagnathia Ry 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 or whatever you want to call it. And uh, they will swim around and then give you some love bugs, uh, love bug hearts at least. So anyways, let's go back to the basics. The three items that you need to focus on are those box of chocolates, the actual uh, love bug hearts, and then the primitive uh, love dino candy. Now, how do we get those? Because that's the next step, right? So there are two ways to gather all of the items. The first way is to use your breeding concepts. And you can see that I've got these guys breeding over here. And for, for each individual mating pair that breeds, there is a 25% chance that they will either drop a primitive love evolved dino candy, or they will drop a box of chocolates. Now, I don't see any in there, so I'm kind of going to skip past that. But if you have a bunch to just constantly set on breeding, that 25% chance does happen over time, as you can see that I've been gathering them right here. Now, essentially what we can do with all of this stuff that we have here, that is the first way to gather it. You can use it in order to craft things inside of the smithy. In order to get the more advanced, better way to gather all this stuff, you're going to want to go fishing. Now, you can actually make a... I'm going to go not this way. I want to go this way, I think. Yeah, this way. Um, so you can actually make a fishing pole inside of the smithy now underneath the holiday tab. And that is called the lovely fishing rod. It is super cheap. You basically just need to kill a few of the love bugs and those love bugs will give you love bug hearts. Now, once you have those, you can go ahead and sit on a wooden chair and then use your fishing rod in order to fish. Now, when you're fishing, you use a love bug heart. Now, when you are fishing, there are going to be coal in the water. You can kind of see them down there and they are special coal now. So basically they have little hearts that go above their head. And when they have those hearts that go above their head, they're going to give you those holiday bonuses as well, basically allowing you to have the candies as well as the box of chocolates. Now, this is a much more effective method than actually breeding everything because breeding everything only happens once a day unless you've got thousands of tames that you can just keep popping out. <clears throat> Yeah, you basically have to do this method as a much faster overall thing. So I'm going to wait until I catch this fish and I'll talk about how to get this method done. Or I can just talk about it a little bit while we're doing it. So basically, the big thing that you're going to want to focus on is the coal are in here and they're going to give you this. But in order to get those hearts, like I talked about, you have to kill those tiny Rhiny Ignatha. Now, those tiny little Rhiny Ignatha. Oh, Q, B, Z, D. There we go. So we reeled that guy in right there. You can see that I am one out of five. And the cool thing, he, there it is right there, the Mastercraft Love Evolved Dino Candy. We just got one of those. It'll give you some fish meat, and then you can get some random loot as well. Now, you can increase your streak to up to five, and up to five fish will count as the same reel in, if that makes sense. So you can essentially multiply the loot you're getting inside of a fishing thing during this event, which means that you can get five times loot using the fishing method that we were just talking about over there. So those Rhiny Ignatha, right? They basically spawn around this area, just like their normal spawn codes. They just kind of exist around here. They have around 4,000 health each. So they're a little tanky. So you probably want a Rex or something like that in order to kill them, but they're all over the place. So you should be able to get hundreds of those love bug hearts pretty quickly just by going around and killing those love bugs. So that is how you get all three of the things. Love bug will give you love bug hearts using either that coal method where you fish and get the candies and the box of chocolates or waiting for a 25% chance to breed anything in order to get a box of chocolates or to get that uh, love evolved candy. 
Now, once you have that candy, I'm going to go ahead and just destroy wild dinos because I'm not dealing with this right now. Destroy wild dinos. Um, so once you have all of that stuff, right, you can place it inside of the smithy. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and toss it all inside the smithy right now because I don't care all that much. But you can go to the holiday tab and then you're going to be able to unlock your structures. Now, inside of the structures tab, you'll be able to see there's the bed. Now, the bed is probably the most expensive of all of the things, but it's not that difficult. It doesn't seem to have any special abilities this time around. Utility wise, again, these are mostly just skins that it unlocks. And then the same thing for the weapons. You can see the teddy bear grenade skin as well as the bow and arrows skin. Now you can see the emotes can be gathered by using this right here. And then you can also see that the armor, you will have the swim tops as well as the bottoms right there. So overall, there's not too much added in functionality wise to this event. But the big thing that you're going to want to keep an eye on is the actual box of chocolates. It has three major features. One, it can increase your fit or your taming percentage of something, no matter what it is. I think it's like 50%. Then it's also going to reduce mating cooldown by 20%. And it's also going to give you the ability to raise things faster. So it is a really good thing to have those box of chocolates. And uh, yeah, definitely want to use the crap out of those. Now, the next cool thing that you want to keep an eye on. So again, I'll show you right there, right? Advances taming, reduces mating cooldown, and fully heals it from anywhere, right? Now, there's a three-hour cooldown. That three-hour cooldown, um, when you use a box of chocolates on something, even if it has one health, it'll go back to full, which is kind of crazy. But, you know, it is what it is. And then, uh, so a box of chocolates, and then the candy itself will apply special dino colors to whatever dino you're trying to apply it on. And it's also going to give it a movement speed bonus. You can see that the higher level ones are going to have more movement speed. So this one gives a plus 10% movement speed, which is quite a bit considering they removed movement speed. Um, so that's a huge boost that these creatures are going to be able to get. So that is all of the stuff they do. That is what you can get and how to get them. Now, the last thing that I will mention is this event is technically going to go for a week. And then there are a few event emotes that you can get, as well as during the fishing process, you can actually get quite a few cosmetics from the Ammonite, Ankies, Archaeopasterix, Mesopithecus, Mossdrops. I've gotten a whole bunch of random ones, right? So that is everything that you can do with this one. It's not like not quite as good, in my opinion, as the winter uh, one where, it, where Santa goes across the sky. And you get a whole bunch of loot and stuff like that. It's kind of just a small boost. Everything is times two, which kind of sucks because I feel like three X happens on weekends. So unless they're going to like six X on weekends, there's not really a good value to this event. But overall, that is how you get a hold of everything and what you can use it for. So hopefully this video helps you out. And other than that, teach.